And when we look into the scriptures, we are well aware that God has instructed us in Matthew 6, 33, we are to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these amazing blessings will be ours. So what does it mean the kingdom of God? Well, we need to understand the kingdom of God as being made up of many different families. Different families, both here on earth and in heaven. That's what we are told in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 15 onwards. It said that it is from God the Father that all families, both in heaven and on earth, proceed. So the kingdom of God is made up of different families. You come from a family. I come from a family. I am part of a family. Now, ideally, the family should have a father, a mother, and children. That is an ideal family. Now, we are all aware that what is on the ground, the reality on the ground, may be different from what the Bible espouses as an ideal. Now, when you look at God's plan from Genesis chapter 1, when he made Adam and he made Eve, he brought them together, formed them as a family, and to them, he blessed them with children. But the reality is that the fathers in houses have been attacked. So have the moms, so have the children. And as we take this journey, as we take this consideration, we will see different onslaughts that have been uh, set forth in motion to attack the different members of the family. But at the heart of everything is that Christ should be the head of the family. When Christ is the head of the family, the family has order. He brings healing. He brings wholeness. He brings restoration to the family. So in an, in an ideal setup, Christ is the head. But you will also notice that the fathers have been greatly attacked. And so as we seek this conversation, we are praying that fathers will arise because they are the leaders of the family unit and they are indeed the protectors of the family. 